All right, uh, this is uh, not the handbrake mechanism assembly video. This is merely to show you those components that do actually belong in the handbrake mechanism. And uh, this I will also show at the beginning of the handbrake mechanism assembly once I've uh, powder coated them all. This is to do with uh, zinc plating. These pieces here, they will all be powder coated, blasted, powder coated, and done whatever else is needed to do. Little pieces like this. These are going to be zinced. These are here. They're going to be zinced. That is not going to be touched. I will do that spring. I will do these pins. The nuts, not that. And I will probably do all of those there. Maybe with the exception of that one. I've got to see how snug a fit that is. Um, the reason I'm showing this now is um, the next clip you'll see will be uh, nuts sorry don't lie to me it's bolts um, two of the things you have to do is you have to clean up and get rid of the rust and then uh, clean the part and then uh, chemically clean the part so this is what I use to mm, destroy the rust then I will you know get my part and either sandblast it or uh, wire brush it whatever I need to do to get the loose stuff off then I use this this is for chemically cleaning prior to zinc coating uh, you do need to get the parts chemically clean otherwise the zinc coating will not stay adhered um, and any of you that are using this stuff be warned that is fucking lethal shit it really is hence the danger poison and also the fumes that come off of this are well toxic to say the least so do, do be very careful, read the instructions. I know that's a piss of being a man, but read the instructions, otherwise you're, you're gonna do yourself harm. And uh, it's, it's, it's not worth it. All right, uh, so now let's get on to actually um, doing the zinc plating. Okay, uh, this is a zinc plating kit I've got from Caswell's and uh, it comes with some very poor directions sorry guys your uh, directions are crap you really need to put i can't fucking believe it <laughs> well we're getting some bubbling here let's see how these uh these go. Uh, I may have to put bigger pieces of zinc in, although the kit did say eighth inch strips and I've done half inch strips. So uh, let's let that go for a few minutes. Well, um, as you can see, these bolts are getting a little silvery now. Um, they've been in there for about five minutes. I'm going to give them another five minutes. Whew, sorry, I've got to step back. The chemical fumes are a little potent. Um, I'm doing this for the customer at no cost to him. Why? Yeah, well, it's because the fucking way I work. Can't help myself. So, uh, let's give that another five minutes and then we'll see how it is. Okay, uh, sorry, you guys are going to be a little... Uh, Excuse me, let me adjust you further away than I would like, but I have to uh, see. All right, let's uh, give those a rinse off. Excuse me, don't go away. Right, let's see what we got here. Now these bolts 
The main reason I'm doing this is for the heads. I don't care about the threads, the shoulders, they're all gonna be hidden. What I do care about is the head and uh, that looks fucking good to me. All right, uh, okay, I'm doing two at a time. I could adapt my kit here to do more, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna do another two and we'll see how it goes. Okay, there's the next buddy. And okay, so this takes a little bit of time. Big fucking deal. What does it matter? It doesn't. Okay. So there she goes. Whoops, I'm sorry. I got the wrong way around there. Press that across there. With the two bolts. Reconnect that, and I will, I promise, do a uh, initial setup of this stuff. I'll do it with the last two bolts um, because I just want to make sure that every time I do this, it works. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I mean, it could be shit. It certainly seems to work. And uh, as soon as I plug that in, it's starting to react. Now, um, a couple of, uh, what should we say, uh, helpful hints. Now, these I did put into a rust converting solution to get rid of the rust. I then um, soaked them in uh, muric acid. Nasty shit believe me that's nasty shit but that's what I did so now these should be physically clean and chemically clean that's my theory and I'm sticking to it um, and we will see how the rest of it goes uh, it's bubbling away like crazy let me move you a second look at that Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. And the two pieces of uh, zinc plate there are sacrificing themselves. Now, I could have put bigger pieces in. I really could. Uh, I don't know if it would make any difference. Do I just keep using small pieces or do I just put the big fucking plates in? I don't know. Maybe someone out there who is more professional than me could say, no, Gary, you can just use the small plates until they dissolve. Or no, Gary, you should use the big ass motherfuckers. We will see. Okay. Back in a sec. Well, this is kind of a before and after. This is an after. And this is before. They are currently... Uh, transforming themselves with the zinc plating with these two little uh, sacrificial diodes I have purchased new stainless steel um, spring washers and uh, I think they look rather resplendent together all this for shits and giggles all right uh, I just want to show you the the setup of this kit uh, when the kit there comes to zinc plating solutions a stick most important stick believe it or not <clears throat> a tub some sacrificial uh, zinc a link wire a power source um, a piece of well it was a piece of straight copper wire Let's just straighten it out a little bit more and these are just pieces of zinc that I've already cut off. And let me show you how the, the setup goes. First, dump the solution in there. It says it's a pint. I looked at it and said, there's no way that's a fucking pint. Well, I'm sorry, guys, I'm English. I'm used to a proper size pint. Your pints over here are kind of small. But saying that, it is an American pint. 
then just rest your pieces of zinky binky in there then with uh, where'd it go there's your piece of wood that you're going to use now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest this across here and put other pieces over it so that I've got one contact point that I need okay <clears throat> now we need to link these two together so that's really easy just get this clip that they give you swing it round clip it there you are linked no more difficult than that then you get this other clip and you clip it on here really not difficult now comes the bit where you're going to set up your pieces so I've just got myself a, a bunch of wire and some side cutters, uh, side cutters. I'm sorry, I'm Lex Dixic. Or was it Dix Lexic? Ha ha ha. I'm sorry, if that offends you. What a shame. Okay, let's see. Nice long piece. Me love you long time. And we'll just get it like this. Twist it up. And then we slip it in here and we make sure that that wire contacts that. Now I'm going to do a couple of pieces out here. Let's see, what should we choose? Let's choose that and let's choose that. That way we can do just a couple of short ones. And again, you figure out how you want to do it. This is just the way I do it. And you can look at it and go, what a fucking idiot. He could have done it that way. Or he could have done it this way. He could have done it that way. Yeah, I'm sure he could have. And so could you. Take your pick. You do it your way. I do it mine. Okay. Oh, that wire broke. That ain't no good. Put it in the trash. Yeah, it's trash talk, man. Ah, I used to work for a company called And One, the basketball marketing company. We had a great time there. That was a terrific company. Unfortunately, certain senior members uh, treated it more of a holiday than a business, and uh, it got sold, and they made their money, and... Uh, us employees a well too bad but I cannot absolutely complain about the time I had there it was fucking brilliant it really was it was one of the best companies I've ever worked for where else could you take your dog to work as long as it didn't create problems where else would the president of the company call over the tannoy system and say hey guys there's a keg on my desk, come on down. And yeah, you know, there were basic rules. Don't get stupid, don't get hammered. You know, and every Friday was barbecue Friday out on the balcony. It was great. And then they said, hey guys, we need you to work all weekend. And we said, yeah, sure, no problem. Treat your staff right, they'll treat you right. All right, so now, with all these little pieces ready to be done, Let's just rest them in the solution <laughs> and discover that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Rewind. I didn't make these ones long enough, did I? They're not dunking in the solution. All right. Uh, so what I'm going to do for quickness is I'll just cut these off. And I'll just do new ones. I could untwist them and retwist them, but what the fuck? Oh dear, what a, what, a, what a dildo, huh? Right, so now let's put some nice long ones on there so we make sure they get in the solution. There you go. All right, and we'll tie you about there somewhere. So you'll definitely be in the solution. Yeah. All right, next one. Next. Okay, let me do the same here. And if this is horrendously boring, oh, well, there you go. And one more for luck. 
فلق And obviously, you know, I could be more precise in trimming these wires, but I'm not gonna. So there. Ah, I just saw on the news, Harvey Weinstein is being moved to California to face two separate charges. Um, why waste the money? Leave the little shit where he is and let him rot. Why waste the, money, waste the money in transferring him to California? Just because they want to have the satisfaction of charging him. He's a predator. Right, now, let's see. There you go. Now they're all dunkied in the solution. You get your other connection and you attach it to this. Now you see why I wanted to make sure these all kind of touched each other or at least touched that. Now let's uh, plug it in and see how we go. Just give it a few moments. I'm seeing one piece do it. I'm going to stop it there. Sorry, just want to make sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of cheat here. I'm going to twist that wire around there. I'm going to twist that wire around there. And that wire and that wire around there. And the only reason I'm doing that is just to make sure I've got a connection all the way along that rod. So now let's have another go, shall we? And you will see I'm sweating. Udo, this is just for you. I've turned off my swamp cooler. I'm sweating like a pig. Oink, oink. Yeah, that's it. They're all going now. Let me just show you this. Uh, give me a second, I'm going to push you out of here. Sorry, this is not easy. There we go. And there you go. You can see now the zinc plating reaction beginning to work. So we'll let that roll for a few minutes and uh, everything will be done. Um, do note that in an earlier clip, this was actually touching one of these, so it wasn't doing shit. It would not um, get the reaction going because you need the negative positive reaction. It wasn't doing that. So there you go. Look at that. Okay, this is only a small tub. I'm sure you can get bigger tubs, bigger solutions. Uh, my task now will be to carry on and do the rest of these. Uh, no point in me showing you that because that would be remarkably boring. Um, but you get the idea. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Do please, please like, comment, subscribe. Ding the dong, ding your dong. Ding anybody else's dong that will let you. Okay, uh, just wanted to... Put this last photograph in it shows the pieces that I have just zinc coated now do note that there are parts of the thread that aren't coated that's because one they were above the solution and two I didn't want them coated I didn't need the zinc coating to be on there those threads will be covered with grease and uh, everything should then be absolutely hunky-dory so, as always, please do like, comment, subscribe, and ding the dong, so then you get notified when I put more crap out there. Thank you very much, hope you enjoyed it, and bye-bye.